Hello guys, hi, how you doing? Irene here, back with another video. For starters, Corona is no joke. I was actually just about to start filming this video. Then I realized I forgot my charger at work. So I think I'm going to just run there and then come back. Okay, good people, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, so I've got my charger from work. Uh, as you can see, I quite amped the audio content, uh, audio quality. It's, it's a deliberate effort, effort for my end, especially after I got feedback from one of my, like a couple of months ago videos, uh, where I was reviewing my whole computer engineering degree in 11 minutes. Check it out if you have not yet. Anyway. Uh, for this video, let me see. I was trying to find the best angle because I have to talk on the side like this. You let me know if you like the audio quality of this one. Uh, getting back to working from home, uh, coronavirus is not a joke. It's serious out here. Uh, we're trying to not die. <laughs> That's the goal. We're trying to wash our hands, use a lot of sanitizer, uh, pretty much just stay like extremely clean we're like howie mandels all of us but anyway back to this video working from home uh since the news of the outbreak broke we have been given the the liberty of working from home from last week uh so this week i'm working from home except maybe friday when i have a big meeting so i have to go to work then but a typical but i'm making this video just to give you uh an insight of what working from home is like when you're working in tech. Uh, most times, sometimes uh, when you're in a senior position, you work from home quite often. Is that liberty? Uh, but not in my cases yet. It's very relaxing. It's I've enjoyed it thus far. Anyway, let me run you through my routine, how I try to stay productive, how I get a, a lot more work done that I've found. Uh, when I work from home as compared to going to the office. With all of this, there's pros, cons to both sides. Let's get right into the video. So a typical day in the life working from home, I usually am up uh, at between 6.30 and 7 a.m. I use the time to do my own stuff. Is it check my... Uh, on uh, check my videos or check online check my emails listen to some podcasts read a book i'm trying to learn a new language as well i'm trying to get better speaking german because i went to berlin recently and i enjoyed that quite a lot but that's besides the point i get up at about yes at about that time so i spend about an hour or one and a half hours doing my own thing then eight o'clock eight eight a.m i start to jeer into the work stuff uh, to ideally start to work at 8 30. so it's usually between 8 30 and 9 but 8 30 so that i get ahead and i can get a lot more stuff done when my brain is still alert i have a couple of stuff to get done i have my ccn P, okay, that was what the name of the certificate was. It's a systems engineering networking certificate for networking professionals. I am preparing for that. It's the new EN core. That's what it's called. That's the first half. Then the EN outer, that's the second half. But I can discuss that at any other time if you guys or if anyone is looking to doing the certificate and would like maybe my feedback or... Uh, my story about how it went or how I'm preparing for it. So, uh, after I start uh, with some study, when my brain is still fresh, when I'm still alert, I would do study for about one and a half hours too. Maybe take a break, take a 30 minute break, uh, have breakfast. I, I find myself having breakfast a little bit later. So at about 10 a.m. is when I have some uh, some breakfast. Then I transition into my other work. I'm working on another project, another group project. And that is when we are fusing a lot of 
uh, networking stuff and programming stuff. So uh, networking is trying to be more programmable, trying to automate a lot of processes that usually were done box by box. You'd configure one thing at a time. So we're trying to automate that whole process. Uh, we have a project that we're, we're starting to work on, so I jerk into that. I usually have a stand-up that is a meeting, daily meeting, where we catch base uh, with everyone in the team just to see where we're at. If anyone is stuck anywhere, you know, they can give a shout. It's pretty much just a progress update. It's 15 minutes, quick, short, to the point, and then everyone's back to their business. So... After that, I go back into that. I do a lot of work for that. Then I jerk into work, lunchtime. Uh, today I've had a late lunch. I had an impromptu meeting uh, between one and two. So I only had lunch between two to three o'clock, but that's not a problem. So three to about 5 p.m., I get back to the project stuff. Uh, I try to do half and half, half the day project stuff half the day uh, with my certificate study but sometimes you have meetings and you have to adjust accordingly uh, so as you can see you become a lot more productive when you work from home you're a lot more in charge of your time you have less interruptions I think that's where the productivity comes in uh, you have less people uh, maybe pulling you for this pulling you for that and everyone, once they want to talk to you, they can just send you a message and you can get to that message whenever you feel f whenever you feel free or whenever you are free. So, so there's no unnecessary pressure. Of course, some messages are urgent and you get to glimpse of that. But you're in charge with how you respond, when you respond, uh, which is quite good. I like that. The only con is the social aspect, definitely. Yes, as much as you interact with people online, you're missing that a human to human interaction that's why maybe i'll try to go to office uh, at least once a week or twice just to have that I, okay it helped me today because i forgot my charger so i got to speak to some people who are at work who are brave enough to <laughs> go to work when you're given uh, the opportunity uh, the opportunity to work from home i can never <laughs> i can never not work from home if i'm given the chance as compared to go going to work it's just uh, a lot more bothersome but so that is my day roughly uh, now that i'm working on a project and i have to do some extra learning um at the moment just give some insight on the project a lot of front end work uh trying to make the website a lot more responsive so i'm dealing with that then i'll integrate some other api stuff but anyway that's another story for another day hopefully you found this somehow useful <laughs> just to see uh, how I do my work from home and how we're dealing with the virus. Yes, it's crazy. There's, we're running out of hand sanitizers. We actually run out of hand sanitizers in multiple places, but we're trying to wash our hands frequently. Remember, wash your hands for at least 40 seconds. That's what they tell us. That is, that's what I'm doing. Then usually have my tea right here. Now, what else? After this, after this, I'm going to get back to work. I just want to make this quick video so that I have an upload for today and I stay consistent. If you have any video ideas, please leave that in the comment section down below. I will get to it. Uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more videos, comment, uh, whatever you feel like, whatever you feel like. Uh, I'm feeling good today. So I guess whenever you're feeling good, I try to record a video. So yeah, that is my routine of working from home. And yeah, I'm enjoying it thus far. It's Tuesday today. Okay, let me not rumble on and on. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Come back next week. Videos every Tuesday. Peace.